a really popular gift, especially around the holidays, utilizing digital scrapbooking skills are calendars. Now you can go out into the stores and buy some calendar templates uh, from designers and you know, theirs are going to be really unique and, and cool. But um, if you're like me and I'm always on a budget, you can create your own uh, calendar template. And I wanna share with you how you can do that. There are actually a couple places online where you can download your calendars into either Word, Excel, or PDF. And one of them is Microsoft, and one is this free online calendar PDF. So let's go peek at those online here. I have here is the homepage for the Microsoft ones, and you can download templates. You can see here they have 2009 calendars to get ready for next year, but you can also do such things as uh, multiple year calendars or act academic year calendars. And so these are uh, samples of, there, it looks like there's four pages of various calendar templates that you can download in Microsoft Word format. Of course, I don't have Microsoft Word 7, 2007 yet. And so I had to be careful to look for one that said, Word 2003. You can see so. Here's a great site. Um, it's in Compatech. I'm not sure exactly, but they offer two kinds. Here is a monthly. You can see it right over here as a sample. And here is the uh, little calendars um, that are the entire year. And actually, I like this set, the uh, site but um, you simply choose what day of the week you want it to start on, Sunday or Monday, put in your year, and um, choose your size. There's a variety of sizes, and download that calendar. Same thing for the yearly one. So let's go back to the calendar, and let's open up, or I, I've already done it. Here's the Microsoft Word one. Now what's great about this calendar is that you can actually sit here now and you can see I've already typed in mom's birthday there. It's not really my mom's birthday. I just typed it up, typed it in there to, for an example. And uh, you can type birthdays and holidays and things right in there. Now you can, and I, I don't know, I had a little bit of difficulty with this calendar. You can see when I um, try to select this calendar, it's not selecting the grids. Um, when I wrote this one tutorial a year ago, the one I got was very selectable. So that it's not always reliable, but you can select this then and go into Photoshop Elements and paste it. However, a better alternative, and I'm just going to close this out, and uh, no, we're not going to save changes, and here it is on my desktop. And I have, I have installed open office software on my computer, but you can take this and I'm going to open it with the open office software. And you can take any software that converts a Word document into a PDF and uh, utilize that and I think I already had it open. Here I am waiting for it to open. There it is. Let's make it a little smaller. So this is the open office um, software and uh, you can see it opens it up and it looks just like Word but if you go down here and you choose export as PDF and open office is a free software and we're just going to save it to my desktop and click export and close this out. You can see it ended up right here as a PDF. Now watch what happens. I'm going to rename this so I can, um, let's just name it samples so I can find it. I've got so many things called my calendar. So when I go into Photoshop Elements, I have a lot of things already opened here. Um, and go to the file drop down menu and click to open it. And 
it's on my desktop here and renamed it sample so I could find it easily and click open a pop-up box is going to appear to import it as a PDF now you'll see here that um, it comes up with all 12 pages separately so what you want to do is hold down um, the control and the shift key and select all of those and now I'm not going to go and uh, do it because I've already got some open in just to save time but um, then you would click OK and they will all uh, open up and um, there's a calendar I tried imported, importing from uh, somewhere else. No, nope, that one seems, I think that's another calendar that I imported. But you can see how they will all import like this. And then you can um, resize them as you want and go ahead and create your pages, add your background paper. Um, maybe you might want white behind these. Uh, but um, let's go ahead quickly and see if we can't open up that one. I want to show you how these come in with, we're just going to open up the January one only. Uh, this one actually comes in with the birthdays and the things already on it. Well, there it is open. And you can see it says mom's birthday here. And it looks really nice. It works out really well that way. And um, I can resize it and, and do move it around and do whatever I want. The um, ones that come in uh, PDF from this site can be imported in the same manner. That was these that we were looking at earlier. And that's what those look like. But then you're going to have to go in and just use your text tool to put your text on here. Um, uh, and uh, somewhere in here, I have so many things now. Let me see so many things opened here is the one that comes in as a small calendar template and you can actually take your rectangular marquee tool and select an area of this and use control c to copy it or you know you can use the copy under the edit drop down menu open up your calendar that you're working on and control v or edit paste and put it right in there and so that's how you would separate this out if you just want this type of calendar format. Now, in my um, tutorial, which is free to download, and I'm trying to do this all quickly so that it will fit on YouTube. There's a few little bits of inspiration here. There's also how to make a CD calendar like this. And there's instructions, and I just did that at home on my home computer it shows some options here for putting together these calendars you can print them at home and if you have a binder system like these um, or even simply key rings you can bind them yourself there's full of ideas here other options are to use them as screen savers to upload them somewhere and have them professionally printed Here's a nice pocket calendar. Um, you can uh, purchase these for a dollar in the stores and just change the background if you'd like. And you can also do this right into Microsoft Outlook, but I'm not going to go into that because that method doesn't work very well. The plus of this method, though, is that you can just import your birthdays right into your calendar that you already have typed in there. And uh, it the uh, quality is in not quite as good. I'm going to show you this one here. And if, if you want to leave it, you know, like this, and it, it has all your birthdays in it, that's fine. But you can see when you try to go and, and remove all of the white, if you zoom in, the lines are not very strong. And that's why this method is not as good. But then again, it might be satisfactory to you. And so I hope you have learned a lot and download that tutorial because it has a lot more information in it.